Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking a body beat down here, Michael, on this Friday afternoon. <clears throat> today, guys, we're going to be doing triceps, back, and shoulders. So for triceps today, we're going to be doing a close grip bench press. And as you'll notice, I like to get my hands really close. Uh, some people do a close grip, but it's not really all that close. Uh, their close grip is my normal bench. Uh, so I like to go in pretty close whenever I'm doing these. And uh, we're doing uh, 135 there. I did start with the bar. I did a little warm-up set just to kind of make sure I'm in place and, and all that good stuff. So, And we're going to do one more uh, quick little warm-up set here of 135 as well. And uh, Today I got a pretty good little workout. Uh, nothing too crazy and strenuous, but just enough to uh, fulfill my needs. And uh, my needs were uh, tricep, back, and shoulder. So, anywho, we are doing a little bit of some close grip pressing here. 135. And uh, we keep it pretty simple. And I do go up pretty heavy, and I put, and I do uh, low reps for these heavier sets that I'm going to do. Uh, I don't want to burn myself out too much having to do, you know, three body parts and and all that stuff. Plus, I've been going all week and, you know, I don't get a lot of food in me that I need to get. I know, I know. Mike, you got a belly. Uh, I mean, you should have a six pack if you ain't eating all that kind of food. Well, I have a very slow metabolism, guys. I could do nothing uh, and not even eat or anything and I'd still walk around at 250s. So, I just have a very slow metabolism, plus a crazy liver that keeps me uh, with fluid, from what I'm understanding. So, maybe that's the reason. Maybe otherwise I'd be completely shredded if it wasn't for my liver. Maybe that's what it is. I'm going to blame my liver. So, here we are, guys. We are up to 225. And at 225, we're going to get a measly 8 reps. But again, look how close my hands are. That's very close, guys. Sometimes I even use my wraps for my wrists and everything here because the angle that they're at is very close, and that's a lot of weight on your wrist at that very close grip. So I did stop at 8. I could have pushed out 10, but I thought, well, I'll just relax. <clears throat> so I go all the way up to 315 here after that because I wanted to make sure I had enough energy. So we only do one rep, and I wasn't crazy about that. I felt a little iffy on it, so I didn't go completely to my chest, as I kind of showed you there. But uh, and then I went back down to uh, 275, and then we get a few reps here. No, we don't. I'm just kidding. I only do two reps here. Uh, again, I didn't want to wear myself out too much. <clears throat> but overall, good little, good little tricep workout. You know, you can do however you want. You can do a lot of reps, a little reps, mix them up. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> so here's something I haven't done in a little while. It's not one of my favorite movements. I can't even get in position correct. It gets on my nerves. I don't like this move, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do some one-arm dumbbell rows. We got the 100-pound dumbbells there. Notice how I'm reaching way down there. I'm letting my shoulder come out. I'm stretching out my lat. That is actually really technically how you should be doing these. Uh, I do see some people out there that don't really get that full stretch in their shoulder and their lat and allowing everything to kind of stretch out and get that workout that they need. And a lot of times people keep it too much in the arms. Uh, you can also practice uh, a technique where you actually sit the dumbbell down on the floor and then pick it back up off the floor. And that, that kind of makes you have to reach down and uh, get that full extension. Or you can just try and do it like I'm doing. And uh, make sure you get that full extension there, guys. You're trying to work the lats out, not the arms. The arms are the secondary uh, muscle that gets worked out on these. So I keep the reps low, and I only do three sets of these. I only do three sets of six. Again, I didn't want to overdo myself, uh, you know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, easing back on some of the stuff a little bit and trying not to. I don't want to show off, guys. You know, I mean, I don't want. I could grab both them hundreds with one hand. Let's face it. No, I couldn't do that. Anyway, yeah, but uh, you know, I'm just kind of trying to hold back a little bit and not kill myself here. 
we are in the midst of packing and we're going to be moving soon and we close on our house. We found out today on October 5th and we get keys to the new house on that day and so we move from our house to that house on October 5th. So there's just a lot going on, you know, with uh, trying to schedule things and get things all lined up and ready to go. Notice how I'm reaching down. Look at that. See that whole back, my whole lat, my shoulders going out there. Uh, you want to make sure you do that, guys. And, and you'll really appreciate the movement a lot better if you do it. And you'll, you'll notice that the focus is off the arm and more where it's supposed to be. I don't usually give too many uh, tips and tricks. I figure we all do what we're going to do and we just leave it at that. But uh, sometimes I try to, you know, uh, give a little bit of advice. You know, I've been doing this a day or two. You know, we all have a little bit to learn, little little tweaks and things we can do. So here, uh, I'm going to do some sitting barbell presses and you're going to notice that I have an empty bar. If you've kept up with my channel, you know i got a cruddy shoulder. And technically, it's more... A pain that goes down into my bicep so and uh, into my tricep I have some scar tissue you can feel it off in my shoulder it gets inflamed sometimes and you can feel the bumps and see it kind of red on my shoulder but it, it pulls all the way down into my bicep and it's a pretty kind of sharp just kind of it, <clears throat> kind of a pain that just zaps all your strength from you and no matter what you do you, you can't really push through it uh, believe me, I've tried. So, uh, and you'll notice there in my face, I was kind of like, hmm. What I did uh, in the middle of that, uh, pressing the bar there, I kind of moved my hands out just a smidgen. And so I tried that uh, with the rest of these reps, uh, the rest of these sets. I uh, actually gripped wider than I normally would. And I noticed it didn't feel too awful bad. Like uh, maybe it was just, just enough of a different angle that it wouldn't, Pulling on all that scar tissue and, you know, hurting quite so bad. Now, it, it wasn't pain-free or anything, but it, it was significantly uh, less. Now, that don't mean I could have thrown 225 on there and done that. Not by any means. Not anymore. Uh, those days are over. So, uh, anyway, we're keeping the weights pretty light. I believe that's 95 pounds. or It could be 115 at this point. I done forgot. That might be 95. Um, yeah, that's only a... Yeah, it's, okay, now we're at uh, uh, 115 there. So we got 115. I don't know if the other one might have been two, but probably not. Okay. Anyway, we got 115 going on here, and I don't do a lot of reps with it because I do feel a strain in the arm, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to do nothing stupid. I've been really babying it for a while now, so I'm, I'm trying to save all my energy for my flat benching. So, then that's why you don't see me do any incline benches either, because it pulls on that same uh, exact area on my arm. So, anyway, guys, sometimes you gotta make adjustments, and uh, well, that's just one of those adjustments. My shoulders are kind of on second second thought, along with my incline benching. <laughs> so this is gonna be the last set here. I went back on down to 95 pounds. We're gonna get 10 reps here. Guys, I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you enjoy the channel. Uh, you know, hey, let me know if I'm giving you a little inspiration. Heck, I think I'm inspiring myself here lately, mostly with my deadlifts. And uh, anyway, guys, if you would, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to me, Michael, the body beat down. And stick around for this. Ready? Oh, yeah. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. You sexy beast. Oh, yeah. Show him, Mike. Show him! Woo! Mm, mm, mm. We'll see y'all later. Have a stupendous weekend. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it!